Social media. We often use social media as a way to express ourselves, make friends, keep up to date with loved ones or the latest news. But with so much importance being placed on our cell phones, what happens when you find yourself unable to access your social media accounts? See what I mean? I've been banned from Facebook for an additional 16 days as part of my 30 day ban for using the hashtag, hashtag men on trash. But what does this mean for media censorship in terms of journalists who make money by being social activists on social media? Well, the world certainly became a much more difficult place for me. Until I discovered I'd been banned because of a new online media censorship bill. I set out to find out what the new online media censorship bill meant for expressive people such as myself. So I would hope that um, any censorship that's being done of online spaces and of hashtags keeps in mind our constitution and the application of rules around freedom of speech and hate speech and incitement to violence and stuff like that. Because if you look at other examples not happening on social media, not using a hashtag in the past, our courts have a very good history of taking the whole context and the power structures that undergird South Africa into consideration. Mm -hmm. So we had an example of an artist who made a big installation saying fuck white people mm. and um, the cake party took them to um, court for hate speech and the court found the artist not guilty of hate speech because the art was reflecting on racial dynamics in South Africa and um, there is no systemic um, discrimination and danger for white people that, that a statement like that would be feeding into. So we'd hope that any any um, censorship or banning of hashtags would have the same kind of sensitivity to the context and understand that when women say something like men are trash it is part of a very different it's actually part of a struggle against a power dynamic yes. that would be um, characterized by someone saying something like she deserved it which forms part of a systemic problem with misogyny and gender-based violence in South Africa which women just don't have that power to don't have that power over men. <laughs> Simply defined, hate speech is the making of a statement that discriminates against a person or a group of people based on grounds such as sex, gender, sexual orientation, race, disability or religion. In addition to a statement discriminating, it also incites harm aimed at those targeted. This also includes messages sent via WhatsApp, Facebook, email, SMS or any similar communication platforms. Now, with so much to unpack regarding the new online media censorship bill, I wondered if there was any way I could escape it. Um, I got banned off Facebook for three days because I said men are trash while arguing with someone. A lot of people can say a lot on issues, they can be homophobic, but no one catches them up on it. No one gets banned for saying, oh my gosh, this is this gay guy just said he likes me I feel like I felt like killing him or something like that people can just post such things but the moment you say oh this guy cat called me and whistled while I was walking in the trash I get banned for that but it's something that was making me feel uncomfortable and now they get to post about it they get to do these things and when we voice our consent when we want people to listen to us, we get excluded, we get banned.